Some days. <laughs> God's been working on me. You may not know that, but today He's been really working on me. It's like I've been exhausted from doing actually a, a lot of spiritual work, so to speak. It's kind of like going through you have a certain amount of abilities and strengths and you get confident about doing something so you share and use up a lot of emotion in doing that and that emotion takes a lot of toll on you because you wind up using up a lot of your energy a lot of your spirit so to speak I mean we have inside of us wellsprings of living water that comes flowing out of us whenever we talk about God but at the same time once you're done talking about God you wind up being physically drained and emotionally down sometimes and kind of exhausted so God typically will stop me because I'll keep going <laughs> if I have half a chance I'll talk about God night and day and day and night and I'll just keep going and going and going until you hardly have an opportunity to do anything else except for listen because I'll just keep going you know I have actually had the opportunity to share Jesus for 24 hours straight and I had a bro that was with me and he was sharing Jesus too and so we just kept building off of each other's joy and sharing the Word of God and it was fun I loved it it was so exciting and by the time he left I was exhausted and wiped and so was he you know it's kind of neat to be able to share those kind of things and to enjoy that kind of fellowship but in ministry you have to base your workload upon what you're capable of doing in a consistent patterned way because you don't want to suddenly just be spurtive, you know, where you suddenly start and stop, start and stop, go and stop, go and stop. But you want to have a consistent flow, you know, that constantly is building up as you go closer and closer towards accomplishing whatever goal it is that you're doing. And with the Lord, He typically will take me through some challenges and some <laughs> wrestling with me because I can get a lot done. I can accomplish a lot of work, you know, in a short period of time and I'll invent new ways to do even more. And then once I'm doing more then I try to do more and sometimes he says stop <laughs> stupid you're burning out well I don't burn out but you know you just you wind up being too tired for whatever it is that God would have you to want to do later and sometimes God just wants you to stop because he wants to be with you it's not like he wants you to keep going you know like you need to do things in the ministry and work 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 go 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 and be 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 but he wants you to share and to care for him as he too likewise shares and cares for you and we come together in that communion of tenderness sometimes it's intimacy by way of just being fellowshipping one with the other in a tired sort of way so today God stopped me right in the middle of you know a lot of things going on and it was like I was chomping at the bit I couldn't seem to get a handle on stopping you know and so I kind of did what I could, you know, and accomplished what I was going to get done, you know. And then as I was getting even more, you know, work towards doing stuff, God gave me this devotional today that says, quite bluntly, I make the opportunities. Never doubt. Have no fear. Watch the faintest tremor of fear and stop all work, stop everything, and rest before me until you are joyful and strong again. <laughs> Well, typically with me, you know, I'm trying to get so much done in a short period of time that you know I'd like to, you know, record things ahead of time. But most of the time, what you see is usually almost certainly recorded that day. You know, and there's a few that are recorded ahead of time, but most of them now are recorded the same day. You know, and have to hurry up and record them and put them together and slap them together and upload them and you know move them here and move them there and get them out. You know, get them out, and then trying to do things at night to organize the websites and the blogs you know I mean things are like exploding and you know getting up to thousands of people you know and ridiculously crazy things and then because it's getting so big then of course because it's free other things challenge you because they don't want you to use your free stuff in that big a way <laughs> so it's always God working with me to keep me from going too far too fast too quick too high too much by myself you know with him and I alone making like a Caleb and trying to go get the land and take it all. <laughs>
deal in the same way with all tired feelings. I was weary too when on earth, and I separated myself from my disciples and sat and rested on the well. Rested, and then it was that the Samaritan woman was helped. I had to teach renewal of spirit, force rest of body to my disciples. Then, as your example, I lay with my head on a pillow asleep in the boat. It was not as they thought indifference. They cried, Master, don't you care that we perish? I had to teach them that ceaseless activity was no part of my Father's plan. When Paul said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me, he did not mean that he was to do all things and then rely on me to find strength. Yeah. He meant that for all I told him to do, he could rely on my supplying the strength. My work in the world has been hindered by work, work, work. Too much work that being worked out by work being worked in order to do the work, which isn't the way that I work. Many a tireless, nervous body has driven a spirit. The spirit should be the master always, and just simply and naturally use the body as need should rise. Rest in me. Do not seek to work for me. Never make opportunities. Just live with me and live for me and live with me. I do the work and I will make the opportunities. You know, that's so much so true about people trying to sometimes evangelize when they aren't told to go evangelize. It's sometimes true about recording videos sometimes when you're not told to go record one. Sometimes you need to, and I need to, stop unless God says go. You know, and Usually I'm pretty good at you know, starting, but I'm not good at hearing when he says stop. Because <laughs> usually you know, it's kind of like, okay, Lord, you know, we're going now. You want me to stop? Okay. And today was one of those days where maybe it applies to you and maybe you'll discover that God is in charge of the stopping as much as he's in charge of the going. You need to balance out the two so that your life isn't constantly work, work, work or constantly ministry, ministry, ministry but that you have a balance of that and that every day you just flow with it so that way the joy of the Lord, which is your strength will always be outgoing and pouring out to other people so that they could feel the presence of God in the very words you speak and the things you say and the ministry of the Spirit as He shares through you those things that He wants to do with those that have a need to be encouraged in their day not just your way but His way as He does it through you and He does it to you so maybe together we're all experiencing this blessing of God, of learning to stop, take time, rest, and relax. Oh, if you're wondering why am I, why do I have this umbrella here? Well, we have a windstorm, <laughs> and the wind is blowing like crazy, you know, and it's really doing a number on my tomato plants. They've gotten so big and they've grown and I finally planted them in one spot, you know, because they're in their containers. I put the containers in one spot and kind of strung them up, you know, some little strings that the tomato plants are growing on. And if the wind could get to them, it would just tear them apart. So it's blocking the wind. Works pretty good too. Kind of one of the things that God stopped me from doing everything else so that I would take care of business with the tomato plants. <laughs> Maybe you have some business that God wants you to take care of and it's not ministry. Maybe you need to take some time to rest so that you'll take care of the rest because maybe you have family needs and other emotional things that are going on in your life that God wants you to do. I know for me, I think I need a nap. <laughs>